Where's Matthews? Now she's going to tell us about, you know those, those funny weird websites you sometimes get to where they're really, really complicated and you can't work out why they don't just make them better. She's going to explain to us, actually, maybe they're designed that way deliberately. So please welcome Rose Matthews. This website sucks. It's brightly colored, it's cluttered, it's difficult to use, and it's got pop-up adverts everywhere. And I'm here to tell you why that's a good thing for this business. Every year, when I can, I go to the Glastonbury Festival in the UK. It's one of the world's most renowned music and cultural events, and I volunteer as a staff member, so I get to spend a lot of time watching the people who attend. And here's the thing, they're miserable. They're having a miserable time. First of all, you can't buy tickets. I've tried. On the day they go on sale, you sit there hitting refresh on your computer, hanging on to an engaged phone line until you get the Twitter update that it's all sold out. <laughs> then you arrive at the place. You have a four kilometre trek through mud with everything you're going to need for a week. You stand in a line for three hours in the mud. Your beer's warm and covered in mud. Your feet hurt, it's crowded, you can't sleep, and there's nowhere to shelter from that mud. <laughs> but everyone goes home happy. They go back, they tell their friends about it, they go again the next year and go through it all again. And Glastonbury always sells out. <laughs> so here's the thing, Glastonbury doesn't sell out despite these problems, it sells out because of them. In my business, we're constantly preaching that you need to make things as nice as possible for the customer. They're fickle people. They don't want things getting in their way. They want everything laid out. So why does Glastonbury have anything different? Well, we've, we've hit a bit of a contradiction. It is actually possible to make your services too easy, too pleasant, too bland. If the customer doesn't have to think about what they're doing, they'll just switch their brain off. And then any little issue they do come across becomes massive. Functional MRI studies have shown that greater amounts of activity in the orbitofrontal um, region and the amygdala in the brain, the two emotional uh, processing centers, enable you to remember more details about an event. In other words, a strong negative experience is more memorable. Who here can remember what they did on their 13th birthday? And who can remember when they lost their first pet? Those bad things do make Glastonbury more memorable. <laughs> so back to this awful website. This is Ryanair. This is an Irish airline that calls itself Europe's first ultra low cost carrier. Its chairman is a man, an accountant called Michael O'Leary. He's famously said that the customer is usually wrong that his customers are zoo animals, fat people deserve to be punished, and anyone who can't follow his rules is an idiot. If you take a Ryanair flight, there's no allocated seating. If you want to sit with your family, you get to the front of the queue. If you forget your boarding pass at the airport, you'll be charged 70 pounds. That's about $115 to have it reprinted. If your carry-on luggage is one gram over 10 kilos, you'll be charged 60 pounds, $100. They've talked about charging to have people use the onboard toilets. They're currently petitioning the aviation authority to allow them to carry passengers standing up. <laughs> so back to this website. They, all of their sales come through this website. And it's, it promises a cheap deal. You've got £14.99 here, 25 bucks, to go internationally across Europe. Bargain. But it's awful. So when you're doing a booking, it says, please select a country of residence. Don't do it! You're buying travel insurance. If you don't want the insurance, you have to scan down the list and find, don't insure me. Even when you get to the last page, it's still selling to you. Subscribe to our spam, stay in our hotels, gamble the price of your ticket, double or nothing. <laughs> but an interesting thing happens. If you measure people using this website, you get fewer people getting through because it's awful. 
But the ones that do get through have a tremendous sense of satisfaction. They have gone up against the big, bad, evil Ryanair and won. They're delighted. They will not go to any other airline once they've been through that website. And they'll tell all their friends about it. I myself once took a Ryanair flight to the south of France and I had a long weekend on the Mediterranean and I paid 2p for my flight. That's the return fare, no taxes, charges or fees, two pence. And now you all know about it. <laughs> so here's my challenge to you. Go forth and horrify your customers. See what happens. Thank you. Thanks very much to Rose Matthews. Yeah. Are there any, any web designers in the room tonight? Any designers? Yeah.